It's time for another cap cam. Thanks to Precision Agro Services Incorporated. More from them at precisionagroservices.com. Joel Penorwood here for the Ohio Agnet down in Clark County today and in the cab with Mia Grimes of Raven Farms. And Mia, thank you so much for joining us today and for letting us join you, really. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about. First of all, though, how's planting season going for you here as we go into Memorial Day weekend? It's going really well. We're just hoping for some rain, though, after this. We're going to get everything planted and then it's going to rain. Yeah. yeah, it's been dry and sunny. It's a little cooler today. Uh, but as we see some of the dust flying, yeah, we do need some rain. But with that, you're running a pretty unique piece of equipment out here. Tell us about that. Yeah, so this year we decided to do something different and we uh, got the SimPass system, which is created by AMVAC. And it's a multi-product um, application system. You can see it on each row back there. You can put three different products in Furo. Right now we're running two products, uh, MicroSync, which is a micronutrient, and um, Smart Choice, which is an insecticide. And we're running insecticide here because we're going corn back to corn right here. So um, hopefully it does well. Why did you guys choose to go this route? Well, we were trying to figure out what to do because we wanted to, you know, we didn't have any like starter fertilizer or anything on our planter and we weren't really sure how we would tend the planter um, with that system. And not only that, but uh, we probably would have had to get a bigger tractor to pull it. And I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to have that expense this, this year as well. I think this whole idea of like microdosing through the field um, is really interesting and I wanted to try it out and um, it just, it's, when we were talking about like handling insecticide as well, we liked that it was enclosed and we wouldn't actually be handling insecticide. So that was appealing as well. Yeah, a completely enclosed system. You guys are not dealing with handling really any chemicals at all, but rather just cartridge by cartridge, right? Yep. Do you uh, see this becoming more commonplace down the road? I think that it would, it will become more common. Um, I, I mean, obviously this is, I think we're only the second SimPass system in Ohio, but I know that um, in the Western Corn Belt, people have been using it and it's, they've been using also another thing called SmartBox, which is like SimPass, but it's only one product per row and they've been using insecticide. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get a closer look to the planter that we might not be able to do up here in the cab. And I think we're gonna throw it over to one of your guys, Derek McClintock, to do that, right? Yep. I'm Derek McClintock with Raven Farms uh, with the, to show you our SimPass system. Um, this is a micro dosing system, basically, that puts uh, micros in furrow it's a multi-product system, so we can run three products at one time. Uh, right now we're running two products, which is MicroSync Pro, which is a micro package, and Smart Choice, which is an insecticide because we're on some corn back to corn ground. Um, as far as the cartridge, pretty simple. Just release the handle, which releases the cartridge. It's all sealed, nothing's coming out. These all have RFD tags that read the cartridge to know, it tells the monitor what's in the cartridge and how many pounds are in the cartridge. So as we go, um, we can see how much we're applying. This product right now, we're applying five pounds to the acre. So out of a fill up on the planter, we get roughly a hundred acres. <clears throat> when you're finished, or when you need to fill up, you replace all the cartridges, whether they're completely empty or not. Um, we run on a prescription, so we have checks throughout the entire field. So not all the cartridges empty at the same time, but it's all based off of weight. So when we change cartridges, when we return them, we get reimbursed for whatever products left in the containers. You 
you guys, you know, we talked to a lot of farmers that have maybe contiguous acres and things like that. Tell us about your farm, give us an overview of it, and also how you guys have to deal with a bit more of a, some spread out acreage challenges. Yeah, so we farm about 3,200 acres and we farm all the way in Clark County near South Charleston area, through Champaign County all the way to Miami County, just in Cast Town. So we're pretty spread out. But I like to call that uh, risk management. Risk management. Hey, if one place gets a pretty nasty storm, another place you're you're still going strong. And yep. Tell us all about the operation. Who's all involved? Um. So I have three full-time guys: Derek McClintock and Logan Harrigan and Denny Myers, and um, my mom and brother are sometimes involved with, with certain decisions, and. My husband Adam and I also have a beef company too, Honey Creek Beef. So we're, we stay busy. <laughs> stay plenty busy and also busy uh, with that new electric truck over there. That's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to have some fun, right? So Mia, you guys have a unique operation here and you're starting the operation pretty unique as well. It goes back to some of your family ties. Tell us about that. Yeah, so um, my dad was a farmer actually, and um, when I was um, growing up, uh, when I, actually when I was at Ohio State, I uh, commuted back and forth and I helped him on the farm as much as I could with the intentions of coming back and working with him. And when I graduated in 2011 from Ohio State with an ag business degree, um, Two years later, he was in an accident and he passed away. So like when I was working with my dad, it was pretty much, he would just tell me what to do, where to go. And like, or even if I was selling grain, he'd say, hey, call Andrea up at Cargill and tell her, you know, and then he would tell me how many bushels and all that. And then uh, once he passed away and it was like, oh, I have to learn all of this really quickly or as fast as I can, but um, I definitely had help because my husband, he's an agronomist, so that was very helpful. And um, I went to school with some people at Ohio State who um, I'm still in contact with, and uh, like they work for Cargill or John Deere and stuff. And, um, and then the guys that work on the farm, they're, they know a lot more about equipment and op operating equipment and fixing equipment than I do but um, yeah just learning to do the books and I, I was already kind of doing the books for my dad a bit but it was more of like he gave me a box of his receipts and invoices and like <laughs> I just at the end of the year and I just had it enter it all in right. um, but yeah and he was a sole proprietor and, and, um, so after he passed away, we made the LLC, Raven Farms. So a lot has changed, but also in some ways, not a lot has changed in that you're still farming, you're still doing, mm -hmm. you're still enjoying the life and, yes. and continuing on the legacy. Yep, trying to, as best as I can. <laughs> Joining us in the cab, Mia Grimes here at Raven Farms in Clark County, we're planting Thanks for joining us here today, Mia. Thank this you. cab cam brought to you by Precision <laughs> Agri Services Incorporated. More at precisionagriservices.com. For the Ohio Agnet, I'm Joel Norwood. Thanks for joining us, everybody. This spring's cab cam series is made possible by Precision Agri Services Inc. Since 1994, Precision Agri Services Inc. has provided the best agronomic, environmental, ag technology planter services and planter products to farmers and agribusinesses. For more info, visit precisionagriservices.com.